smart contract has enriched blockchain technology with a wide spectrum of application, not limited to finance, but also gaming, food, luxury industry has benefits from the smart contract. Fortunately, XRPL has integrated the concept to the network via XRPL Hawks. To know more, I'm Wazen Shber, a senior blockchain architect at VNX and a formal research associate at the University of Luxembourg, a member of UBRI Initiative. Smart contract programming learning is curve is not it's not smooth. Even for advanced technical people, it's not it's a kind of a mystery. For that, we, we, we aim to help teenager, non-technical audience, and the knowledge seeker to learn programming XRPL hawks easily to be able to adopt the technology. XRPL hawks smart contracts are a small and efficient web assembly module designed specially for XRPL. Hawks can be written in any language and then compiles to web assembly. However, typically the recommendation is that hawks need to be written in a C language. For the people who know C programming language, it's a very efficient programming language. However, the bad side is not easy to learn and use for a non-developer. Also, hawks are not full Turing complete programming, which means that it requires a special version of C that adopts, that integrates the limitation that has been integrated inside or the, the, the limitation inside the Hox uh, developments. So we were looking around how we can make learn programming Hox easily. We find that this is, a, there is a concept of a visual programming language. The well-known one or the most famous one is a Scratch that has been developed by MIT. This type of programming or visual programming is used by thousands of kids around the world to learn how to program and to simplify the concept of programming. So people used to create games and to, uh, to, to learn coding via the scratch. So we think that this is, could be a good approach that we can bring to the blockchain community. However, when we dig inside scratch that we find it's not that easy to customize it to meet our expect expectation to develop Hawks. So we find another solution that's named Blockly that developed by Google. It's an open source program. It's open source framework and it used the concept, the same concept of block based icon and drag and drop programming environments. For Blockly, it's transform visual programming, the blocks into textual codes, JavaScript, PHP, and many other, uh, many other programming language. So this is how the original versions of Blockly look like, where, in the, uh, where we have uh, a menu for, for all the blocks. In the middle, we, have, we, we structure our, our codes, and then it's automatically transfer it to the required programming language. So here we, we think that we can use this, the concepts that came from Blockly and the, the open source, the, the framework itself, that it could be adapted to, 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 uh, to be able to use it for uh, writing hooks. So we aim to develop and deploy XRPL smart contract using the same concept of visual programming language then the second step that we need to implement all the XRPL hooks function as a block. So for user, he will not he will not require to write codes, but he just need to select the right block and gives the required uh, parameter. And number three, that we need to use the drag and drop concept to uh, be able to for for smart contract development and then the, the compilation and the deployments of the hawks to the XRPL uh, ledger. So how does it work? We will have our front end, we will have a back end server. In the first step, we send the compiled or the generated hawks C codes, and we will forward it to a remote VASM compiler. 
Once the compiler finishes, it will return back the VASM codes and we will forward it back to the front end. And then it's the time to be able to, uh, to deploy the, uh, the hawks to the network. So we will, uh, we will go through the, the, the normal process by sending uh, assigned the transaction. So the clients need to provide the, the wallet ID or the accounts ID sign the transaction and send it to the uh, to the hawks uh, testnet so this is a screenshot for for our platform it's still in the beta version we will have a demo in, in a couple of seconds for for our uh, application so uh, now we arrive to to conclude our our talk so uh, the platform is uh, is released as an open source project so any contribution is is, is a welcome this is the our uh, the, the GitHub link. Also, we have integrated some example for Hawks just for for learning to to prove uh, to to validate that the, our our concepts that it's it's work and we are looking forward to add uh, to add more uh, more Hawks that's user maybe uh, he will they they will be able just to to pick the right Hawk that he wants to uh, to attach to his own wallets. Uh, then just uh, fill the parameter and deploy deploy it. And also, we are looking for a feedback from uh, Ripple uh, and Hawks uh, teams and community for for our uh, platform, so that we can validate our our outputs. So please meet the the team. Myself, we have Lucian. He's a PhD student at the University of Luxembourg, and uh, our Professor Radu State, uh, our team our team mentor. So now we came the moment of the truth for, for a demo for uh, the application for our uh, platform. So this is the front end of uh, the Blockly to Hawk. Here, as you can see, we, we had implemented all the, the functions of the Hawks, uh, like the, the API control in terms of blocks. So we, we have it all here. So. Uh, for Hawks macro, payment, puffer, puffer all the, the things has been uh, translated into, into blocks. So for, for the user, all what he need, he need the, the logic or the business logic that he wants to integrate or to add uh, to the Hawks, then he will just need to select the, uh, the, the, uh, the, right, the, the, the right blocks. Here we have also some Hawks catalog. We have uh, implemented some uh, some some hawks. So, for example, this is the simplest one. It's called accept hawk. So, this is the the the, the representation of the hawk. So, this is the, the the blocks. So, so it's it's just like this, and then all these fields are editable, and it will automatically generate the code at the at the other side. So, then we will compile it. So now we have the WASM, the binary of, of the codes. So then we need to deploy it. So we also integrate the, the deployments to the testnet. So this is the wallet address where the hook will be seted. So we will generate the set hook transaction. Then we will sign and publish the, uh, the, 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 the hooks to the ledger. So here we have it successfully deployed. And if required, we can view it on the uh, on the explorer of, of, of the ledger. So here we have uh, the latest uh, the latest transaction that is set uh, set to hop. So that's it from our side. Thank you for being here.